Hey y'all, I'm Dr. Brandon J. Loth, the Lizard Doctor, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about UVB for bearded dragons. So this is very important. If you ever heard of metabolic bone disease or nutritional secondary hyperparathyroidism, it's very common in bearded dragons. This is just a gorgeous hypomelanistic red bearded dragon with some gorgeous blue bars that I have at Colorful Color Lizard Ranch. As you can see, gorgeous coloring, but growth is very important in these guys with appropriate UVB lighting. They are a Ferguson Zone 4 reptile. So they do require some of the highest output of UVB lighting in any of the reptiles that we generally see. So I'm going to go over one of the really good zoom ed charts that actually breaks down distances for different bulbs that can actually meet what bearded dragons need. So this video is going to give you a couple options. There are other options out there, but these will be some recommended options if you are looking for UVB lighting. So as you can see up here, bearded dragons again in that Ferguson zone four with this chart having that dark orange to that red color uh, showing and pointing you here with my finger. Obviously, you want to avoid that, quote, danger zone because that actually might be too strong. Um, again, the Fergusons are midday baskers, so a reptile that likes to bask during the day. These are also all the different lightings. So those coiled lightings, they're actually not that strong and not that good. You have to get your bearded dragon very close. So I love that T5 10.0 from Zoomed. Arcadia has another good one. Keep in mind, mercury vapor bulbs vary in their strength as well based on their size. They do provide heat, but it's not always the same. The T5 bulbs don't really have great heat, so you will have to have a basking bulb. But keep in mind, distances 8 inches is ideal for that T5 10.0 uh, for the Zoom Ed. Mercury vapors, if you have a 160 watt, you're going to have a farther distance. So it's important to measure. So again, this is a mercury vapor bulb. It is very key and very important to see this bulb is really strong. We're almost in the danger zone here, just a couple inches away. As I kind of move away on an angle, it'll definitely go lower. It's also important if you have a screen lid to know that screen does filter the strength of the UVB. So transitioning here to the same exact bulb with a screen lid, I'm using again another one of my monitors going under and that same bulb yes it is slightly higher but it's a lot weaker I generally say you subtract two to four inches from the strength of the bulb if you go through a screen obviously the thickness of the screen varies but here we're going to then transition to a t5 bulb so this is going to be in here one of the Arcadia 10.0s t5s so you can see actually this is actually a 5.0 bulb so one of the smaller ones that I use for some of the chameleons occasionally. So just showing you here, I'm going to turn this on. One thing to keep in mind, yes, this works. UV strength might not always be there. So it's important to kind of measure how the strength is. So again, putting on here really close. We get to that 14, almost 32, touching it and then pulling away. This is still a 5.0. So you saw the distances on that chart. If you want to roll back to around one minute of this video, I do show the distances that you need. I don't really recommend the 5.0. I recommend more of the 10.0 if you're going to use the T5 for these guys. And again, distance is very important. Transitioning to a screen as well. You saw how I almost got to 35 touching it. Now I'm barely getting to the 3. Yes, this is a 5.0, so I don't recommend it. This is ideal for chameleons. Again, Arcadia has a great 14% bulb. That's probably one of the strongest T5s you can get out there. You can do the 12%. A lot of these have little charts that you can measure the distances out. So generally these bulbs will tell you the distance you need for those different zones. This is a great mercury vapor. This is only the 80 watt. Keep in mind that chart did show that the wattage varies on the strength. So an 80 watt is going to be a lot weaker than 160 watt. Yes, It'll also not be as hot, but you need to also be closer. Here's another mega ray bulb. This is another mercury vapor bulb that you can get. Just a competitor, another good one. You can see on the side here I have the distances, again, for the same zoning. Uh, so just keep in mind that we want this to be very important. Please, you can always email me, ask questions. I love, please subscribe for more videos to come. I love to talk to you guys. Thank you again for your time.